Hello, and thanks for joining me. We're at Beckenscott Model Village. Here is their souvenir shop, which is an old Mark I carriage. And just over the fence here is the seven and a quarter inch gauge Beckenscott Light Railway. Beckenscott Model Village is well known for its extensive gauge one model railway, but we're not here to see any of that. The reason we've come to Beckenscott today is to do the International Staycation Challenge. Now, if you're wondering what that is, it's been set by a YouTuber called the Tim Traveller. The Tim Traveller, he visits interesting places around Europe, around the world, railways, castles, canals, all sorts of interesting buildings, and he makes videos. Um, I don't think he's yet seen him make a video at Model Village, but you never know. But he, so he's, it's a brilliant channel basically. Have a look at the link on screen now, there's a link to it. And he really is one of my inspirations behind making the videos I make. But what he's done is he has set his viewers a challenge. And this challenge, as I mentioned, is called the International Staycation Challenge. So what you have to do, you have to go to your local area and you have to find something that looks like it's in a country it isn't. So. I've come to Beckenscott Model Village, it's all 1930s England, so you're probably thinking, what am I going to find here that looks as though it's in another country? Well, surprisingly, as we walk through the very centre of Beckenscott, it's all very English, but there are some non-English buildings to see, and that's what we've come here today to look at. We're going to do a little bit of a world tour here in 1930s England. There's a train on the Gage 1 model railway. I know I said um, we're not here to see any of that, but you can't exactly ignore such a huge model railway. This is Mary Lou Station down there, the busy station, and that's the signal box where it's all controlled from. But if you want to see, I've done various videos on Beckenscott and the model railways, and indeed the light railway, so you know, do have a look at those videos, and you'll see a lot more of GK Chesterton pulling the express and the local trains, the goods trains, the two bill unit. You'll see a lot more of that. So let's go and find something from another country. We're just coming up to here. This is Beckenscott Newtown. It only opened about three years ago and it's up here where we're going to find the first of our international buildings. It's just here in the centre. Have a look at this. This is the Hotel de Ville in Langeres in France. This is the town which Beaconsfield, where Beaconscott Model Village is situated, is twinned with. So Beaconsfield's twin town has this building in full size, but here we have the Langeres Town Hall in miniature. So here we are, we're in France, in miniature France, in in the middle of 1930s England. So that's France. What we're going to do now though, we're going to go down under the town walls. There's the town walls. Now if we peer over the edge, you can see the airport. Not one of the um, international things we're looking for, but I said we weren't here to see the Gauge 1 model railway, but the next, um, the next thing we're looking for has, well, is actually part of the Gauge 1 model railway. So as you can see, the railway runs along the side of Hanton Airfield. Now, when Beckenscott was created in the 1930s by Roland Callingham, he created the model railway and um, he wanted a few obvious, you know, challenges such as hills and lakes to cross as a train departing. And from Splashing Station, you may just be able to see there is a rather large lake. This is Alexandra Lake and the railway needed to cross Alexandra Lake, so um, he had to look at various designs of bridges to find a bridge that would fit in nicely with Beckenscott, but he looked beyond the shores of England, and the bridge he chose to model, well, we're about to see it, it's just here. That is Alexandra Bridge, and it's a model of Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia, so a moment ago we were in France, we have now come down to Australia where we see the bridge. Um, is there going to be a train coming? We saw a train go in that direction now because it's single track, it might be a couple of moments till the next one comes. You may just be able to see 
a tram running along the cliff tops. It's about to see where my finger is. The tram shall appear any moment. There we go. And um, can I hear a train coming? I'm not so sure. Yes. There's a train coming along the side of the airfield, so it's going to cross Alexandra Bridge and here's Winchwood Castle, which sits nicely on the le on the banks of Alexandra Lake. I can't see many at the moment, but sometimes you see them here. But there's lots of koi carps, and um, you could say they're international because they are a Japanese fish. Um, but I just want to now see a train crossing Alexandra Bridge before we then continue our world tour, because we've got a couple more places to go to. We're going to go back to Europe, and then we're going to go somewhere else. The train has just stopped at the station. The tram's just arriving. The passengers will be stepping off the tram onto the train, and these miniature 1930s people are about to experience crossing Alexandra Bridge, or as I said, we're actually in Australia, Sydney Harbour Bridge. There we go, it's a double departure. I don't know if you can see that. The tram and the train are both departing at the same time. The train is about to cross Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's just its British train, but Australian bridge. So, as the train continues up into the tunnel, I'm not sure who's winning the football match, um, but the railway now goes under this hill, which we're going to walk over this hill. But beside this hill, there's um, a ravine, and it's in that ravine which has our next um, European building, or mode of transport rather, that we've come to see. It's just here. It's the cable cars. There we are. It's just rang the bells because this one has arrived down at the bottom. You can see it travels up there over the waterfall, giving the occupants of Beckenscott some spectacular views as they ascend to the top of the hill in this very alpine area of Beckenscott. So I'm not going to pin this down to a particular country. You could say it's Swiss, Switzerland or Austrian, but it's certainly alpine. And alpine is certainly, as nice as it is, it's not um, Great Britain. So that's our third international place we've seen so we've done France we've done America we're now in the Alps what we're going to do we're going to have to go for a little bit of a walk around here um, we're going to go around the main lake now in our walk to find another international building here at Beckenscott while um, I walk there just a couple of things you might be interested to know. If you would like to visit Beckham's Court, it's very easy to get to. It's a five-minute walk from Beaconsfield Railway Station, which is served by Chilton Railway trains out of London, Marylebone. Um, so, it's you know, do do come and, and visit here and um, see 1930s England with its a few non 1930s buildings for yourself. It really is a great day out. I've been coming here ever since I was a child, and um, I, I've never tired of coming here always been fascinated by this place oh we're just going to pass the circus now this wasn't really one of my planned international buildings but have a look they obviously have acts from various other countries going by the flags anyway let's continue because we have somewhere else to go to we are going we've been down under we've seen two european buildings we're off to america now so as we get to here as we come to the end of beckenscott have a look at that there it says Beckenscott on the other side of the lake in a very Hollywood style. So here we are. We've been to France, Australia, the Alps, and now American style Beckenscott. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much to the Tim Traveller for coming up with this idea. I have really enjoyed taking part and I always enjoy being at Beckenscott. So I've really enjoyed this new take, this new look at Beckenscott. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the Tim Traveller for creating this idea and from Beckenscott Model Village I shall see you soon.